Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of work in response to the artist VB. And you will see that I have already opened up in Photopia a photo of my daughter. And first thing I'm going to do, because VB's work is square, or at least the work I'm responding to is, I'm going to select the rectangular select tool, holding shift so it stays as a square. And I'm then just going to nudge it up a little bit move it up so that it's just below her chin and then I'm going to go image crop and control zero to zoom in so you can see it nice and big and then first thing I'm going to do before I do anything else image adjustments black and white then image adjustments brightness and contrast and I'm going to bring the contrast up a lot and the brightness up a little bit which is going to give me an image that's a little more stark. Then I'm going to go filter, pixelate, color half tone. And I'm going to drag all of these sliders or click at the end of them to bring all of these three at the bottom down to zero. And then I'm going to change the one at the top to 70. Click OK. And that's going to turn the image into all these different sized dots. I'm then going to go filter, blur, motion blur. And I'm going to make sure that I'm at 90 degrees, so straight up. And I'm going to slide the slider right to the top and click OK. And I want to do that again. And the nifty trick is you can go filter and last filter. And it does the same thing again. So that's quite handy. OK, now we're pretty much there, except we haven't got any color. So I'm going to show you how to do a rainbow effect going to open a new project, print A4 and then click OK. And there it is. And then I'm going to use the rectangle select tool, just select a quarter of it, but like a big quarter. And I'm going to choose like a hot pink to go in there. Okay, I've looked at VB's work and I'm taking my colors, my color cue from her. So I'm going to paste that hot pink into this section. There you go. And then I'm going to create another rectangular mask. And then I'm going to go to blue, quite a dark blue, and paint bucket that as well. And then I can get rid of my mask because I'm going to do the two sides. So I'm going to do the first side in yellow, paint bucket, and just fill that space. And then I'm going to do green on the other side. Click OK, paint bucket, fill. OK, and that gives me my four color mix. I'm then going to go filter blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to ramp it right up so they all blend with each other like that. OK, then going to rectangular select the whole thing. Control C to copy it. Go back to my project. Control V to paste it in. There you go. And then I'm going to drag it to fit the shape. And that way. There you go. OK. And then I'm going to drag that layer underneath my photo layer. Select my photo layer and then use my favorite drop down menu just above. And you want to scroll down until you get the one with the best effect. I'm finding that screen is the one that gets the best effect virtually all the time. I'm then going to right click on the top layer and choose flatten image, which merges the two layers together so that I can then go to image, adjustments, vibrance and drag the saturation up quite a lot like that. You might even want to put the vibrance down a little bit. It's up to you. And that is it. There's your finished piece. And that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you find it useful.